COVID cases are spiking and the Delta variant spreading. President Biden announcing a sweeping series of moves. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Michael Brownlee. And I'm Carolyn Johnson. Late this afternoon, the president held a news conference to detail those new initiatives to fight the surge. They include requiring all 4 million federal government employees to provide their vaccination status. If they're not vaccinated, they will be required to wear a mask on the job. The president is also directing the military to develop a plan for making the vaccine mandatory for all service members. Plus, he's urging state and local officials to offer people 100 bucks as an incentive to get the vaccine. Also, the L.A. Unified School District just announced that all students who return to campus for the fall next month will be required to undergo weekly COVID testing. This all comes as COVID restrictions tighten once again here in Southern California. NBC 4's Angie Crouch live with more on what local health officials and business owners are doing to try to keep this all in check. Angie. Hey, Michael. Yeah, L.A. County Public Health officials just gave us an update on our latest numbers and our daily case rate still rising. It's up 17 percent from just one week ago. Now, the increase is especially troubling among L.A. County African-Americans. The increase there is 320 percent since July 17th, with the Delta variant now making up 96 percent of all COVID cases in L.A. County. The science on this variant shows that it is different from earlier variants of COVID. It replicates faster and more efficiently in respiratory tract cells, which means that infected people may now spread up to a thousand times more virus particles with every cough, sneeze, or shout than they did a year ago. 96% of all the COVID deaths in LA County are among unvaccinated people, which is why more businesses are now requiring masks. Disney is one of the latest companies to require masks indoors at its theme parks. The new rule goes into effect tomorrow at Disneyland and Disney World for everyone over the age of two. This follows similar indoor mask mandates from Universal Studios Hollywood and Six Flags Magic Mountain. Disneyland guests shared mixed reactions with NBC4 today. I'm totally anti it. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm against what most people think, but... I don't want to wear a mask. I'm over it. There's a lot of people indoors, so like, because like they're waiting for the ride, so there's more of a chance of you getting COVID, so like, it just protects you. The tightening restrictions are due to the surge of the aggressive Delta variant, which has more than doubled COVID related hospitalizations in LA County over the past two weeks and caused at least 140 outbreaks at workplaces. That's a 150% increase since mid July. In an effort to turn the tide starting tomorrow, entertainment company AEG will offer a chance to win free concert tickets to adults who get a shot at one of LA County's vaccine sites. Starting Sunday, Israel will become the first country to give people over age 60 a third booster shot of the Pfizer vaccine to try and improve antibody protection against Delta. Pfizer says it could apply for U.S. emergency authorization for booster shots as early as August. More corporations are also requiring employees to get vaccinated, including Google and Facebook, Netflix, Washington Post, Lyft, and Morgan Stanley. Public health officials say right now all schools in L.A. County are still scheduled to open in person this fall with masks. And one bit of good news, for the second week in a row, the number of people getting vaccinated has gone up. Reporting live, Angie Crouch, NBC4 News.